Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video I'll show you how you can create this awesome cinematic video intro in PowerPoint step by step. Let's go! Before we get started, I want to say huge thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and supporting OneSkill channel. Skillshare is an awesome online learning community with thousands of classes for you, my friend. You can learn many new skills such as animation, design, illustration and many more. And I'm always looking for new ways to improve myself as a presentation designer and learning new skills such as shooting a video with your phone is pretty awesome. Recently I have taken this class in Skillshare called iPhone Filmmaking Create Cinematic Video with a Phone by filmmakers at moment and these guys do wonderful job by showing how easy it is to create awesome videos with just your phone. So definitely check out Skillshare and start creating even more amazing presentations. First 1000 people who click the link in the video description will get 2 months of Skillshare Premium for free. And now let's continue with the video. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so let's open up a fresh blank new slide and I will show you step by step how we can create uh, this beautiful cinematic PowerPoint video intro. As you can see here on the first slide I have already done this effect uh, previously and uh, here in the selection pane we can see all of the objects that exist on this slide. We have a couple of audio files, we have a couple of video files we have some black bars and we have this full screen uh, black bar uh, rectangle. So I will show you how everything works. Let me just put back this rectangle back into place. And now we can start with this uh, fresh slide. All right, so first of all, let's find a video that we would like to use. So we can jump to pexels.com and use this beautiful video by Tom Fisk. So I've already downloaded this video to my computer, so let's just find that video. Here it is. So let's make sure that our video covers the whole slide nicely, like that. Alright, let's check it out on the full screen so everything is looking beautiful. And now we can go to animations pane and let's see what kind of animations PowerPoint has automatically applied to this video. So as you can see we have a play animation and pause animation. So I think we can delete the pause animation, we don't need it. But uh, let's just leave this play animation and let's make sure that it starts uh, with previous. Uh, which means it will start automatically once we play the slideshow. So let's check it out and as you can see the video is playing so that's uh, wonderful. Alright so we have uh, completed the first step so let me just uh, mark this first step completed just like that. Alright and now we come to the second step color grade animation. As you can see here we can see the original colors of the video. And if you'd like to make your video a little bit more cinematic you can apply uh, what's called a color grade or a color filter. So let me show you this uh, video, this effect that I've done previously once again. So here in the beginning we see the original colors and after a while you can see we have this golden uh, filter or golden uh, color grade applied. So let me show you how we can create this beautiful golden uh, color grade for our video in PowerPoint. Uh, so to do that, so let's get back to our slide number three. So first of all, let's just go to selection pane and let's make sure that we name this original video. Uh, let's just call it original so that later on we can, you know, easily know which object is which object. And now we can duplicate this object, uh, this video. Let's just hit Command D or Control D to duplicate. And uh, let's make sure that uh, we give it a name, for example, color grade. And let's put this video into the center, just like that. And now we go to video format, let's go to color and let's choose this orange color. Uh, you should uh, see this orange color if you're using the default uh, PowerPoint color palette. So let's just uh, choose this 
orange color and as you can see this video becomes orange so let's just preview it on the full screen as you can see it's too much orange so let me show you how we can actually add a little bit of transparency to this video actually 50 percent transparency uh, so if you would go to you know video format settings you would not find a transparency option but we can go to animations and we can add a transparency animation so that's really fun so let's just add a transparency animation to this uh, golden or orange video. All right, so here's this uh, transparency animation applied to a color grade video. So let's just make sure that it starts uh, with previous, which means it starts automatically. And the effect options, uh, let's choose 50%. All right, so let's check it out on the full screen. What do we have so far? And as you can see, we have this beautiful golden color grade applied to our video. That's awesome. But as you can remember in the example that I've done previously, uh, we first can see the original colors and only then gradually we can see this uh, golden uh, filter come in. So let me show you how we can create this gradual uh, color grade. So to do that, let's just jump back to our slide number three. Let's just go to selection pane and let's make sure that we hide for a moment this color grade. Let's select the original video and let's duplicate it once again so that we have uh, three videos in total. And let's just call this uh, one uh, original two. All right. And let's make sure that it is aligned uh, to the center and to the middle of the slide. That's beautiful. Uh, we can turn on the visibility of the color grade so as you can see here is the second copy of the original on top next we have the color grade and then we have the original so let me just turn on the visibility all right and for this video on top let's just go to animations and let's uh, choose exit uh, effect let's choose uh, exit uh, fade animation all right so let's just make sure that we have this original uh, play animation at the top of all of the animations and the exit animations right here just below. Let's make sure it starts uh, with previous. All right. And now we can add a little bit of delay of uh, three seconds. And for the uh, duration, let's make it uh, two seconds. All right. And now let me show you what kind of a result do we have. So as you can see, we see the original colors and only then gradually comes in this golden, uh, golden filter. So that's beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so I think we are finished with the second step. Uh, let me mark it completed. All right, now I'll show you how we can create those uh, cinematic, cinematic, <laughs> cinematic, cinematic bars right here. All right. So let's get back to slide number three. So uh, usually in PowerPoint, we're using aspect ratio 16 by nine, but in cinema, uh, the aspect ratio is uh, 2.39 to one. So let me show you how we can uh, create this aspect ratio in PowerPoint and how to create those bars. So first let's just insert a, a rectangle let's make sure that the height is uh, one centimeter or one inch doesn't really matter and for the width let's type in 2.39 all right let's zoom out a little bit and now let's make sure we align this rectangle to the left side and now we drag it to the right side of course uh, just make sure you hold down the shift key so you drag it proportionally just like that all right and now make sure you align this rectangle to the middle of the slide that's beautiful let's just make sure that we cover the whole width of the slide and we can remove the outlines we don't need those outlines all right and now we can insert those black rectangles at the top and at the bottom let's just make sure we have a black color no outline 
like this and let's make sure we fill this area at the top and that it touches this blue rectangle all right now we can just delete this blue uh, rectangle we don't need it anymore we can duplicate our uh, top black bar and let's move uh, this copy to the bottom all right and now we have our cinematic bars that's awesome and as you can remember we had this beautiful fly in animation for those uh, cinematic bars in my uh, previous example so let me show you how it's done so let's select uh, this first bar let's actually go to the selection pane and let's uh, name this one top bar and this guy at the bottom let's name it bottom bar all right and now let's go to animations let's choose fly in animation let's choose direction from top for the duration let's choose uh, two seconds and for the delay let's choose uh, three seconds and let's make sure that this animation starts with the previous you can check it out on the full screen delay let's make sure we have three seconds for the delay all right now let's just apply this animation to the bottom bar and let's just change uh, the direction of this bottom bar from bottom all right and now let's check it out on the full screen so the video is playing we have the color grade and we have those cinematic bars that's wonderful all right so uh step number three completed that's awesome now we have this uh, title in the middle so let me show you how we can do that so let's just go to insert text box let's type in anything that we want for example cinematic powerpoint let's make sure text color is white for the font let's choose uh, Montserrat bold let's choose 28 points for the size let's choose very loose for the letter spacing and let's align it to the center just like that we can activate slide guides all right and now we can hit command D to duplicate this text box and here below we can let's make sure that the text is center aligned in both of these text boxes and for this uh, bottom text box let's uh, deselect the boldness and just leave it like this and let's make it uh, 13 14 points just like that and let's type in let's uh, let me check what was here video intro let's type in video intro all right so let's zoom in everything's beautiful and now we can just hold down the shift key select both of these text boxes right click and choose group all right so now as you can see we have no animation so these uh, you know text boxes happen to appear from the start but let me show you how we can add some animation uh, so first of all let's uh, select our group go to animations and let's go to entrance animations and let's choose this one called zoom all right and as you can see now our uh, titles are called group number nine so let's just go to selection pane and let's call this group titles so it'll be easier to follow all of these objects all right and for the titles zoom animation let's make sure it starts with previous duration uh, two seconds and delay three seconds all right so let's check it out on the full screen 
All right, so everything is looking beautiful. The titles are zooming in and now let's just add a little bit of exit animation for these uh, titles. So let's make sure we select our title group and let's just go to exit animations and let's choose first of all a fade animation. Uh, let's make sure it starts with previous duration two seconds. And let's add delay of 10 seconds. That's wonderful. So let's uh, check it out quickly. So here comes the title, it stays a little bit, and then it fades away. That's awesome. We can even make this uh, these titles to grow a little bit while they are fading away. So once again, let's just go to exit effects and let's choose let's choose uh, basic zoom. All right, in the effect options, let's choose in. Uh, once again, let's choose with previous duration, the same as with the fade, two seconds and delay 10 seconds. All right, so let's check it out. So here comes the titles. And then they fade away and grow at the same time. That's awesome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we are finished with the titles. So we can hide the slide guides. We don't need them anymore. So let's mark step number four completed. And now we can insert some awesome uh, cinematic music. So I just found this beautiful song on YouTube. It's free to use. Link is in the video description. I think it's pretty cinematic and uh, it will fit in our video pretty well. So let's just go to insert. Choose audio from file. And here it is, music. Let's insert it. So let's just move this uh, song icon here at the top so that we don't see it in the, in the you know, slideshow view. And here for this music file, let's just make sure that it starts uh, with previous. That's awesome. All right. And in the uh, playback options, we can choose fade in three seconds and fade out three seconds so that the music starts slowly and then it ends slowly. All right. And we can even go to trim audio options and we can trim this uh, song. For example, we just need uh, 20 seconds of this uh, song so let's say we start somewhere at uh, 20 seconds and we can just uh, we can just look here at the duration and let's just end it somewhere where we have uh, 20 seconds duration like this all right and now we can just move this animation somewhere to the beginning of the animations and now we can check it out on the full screen All right, and now we get this beautiful cinematic song playing in the background. That's awesome. All right, and I would like to add some of those uh, ocean wave sounds. So let me grab another uh, audio file. So here's the second audio that I found on YouTube. So it's a uh, Free to use, link is in the video description as well. So let me just insert that uh, ocean sound file. Let's make sure we are inserting audio file. Here it is. Let's move it somewhere here at the top, to the top. Let's make sure it starts Let's make sure it starts uh, with previous. All right. And once again, we can add some uh, fade in three seconds, fade in, some fade out three seconds. And we can as well trim this uh, audio. So let's say from 1 minute 15. And let's. Uh, Let's make the duration 20 seconds, so something, something like this. 
that's awesome and you can always change the volume uh, high medium low medium low so I'll just leave uh, both of these uh, audio files on high now we can check it out nice now we're getting some of that ocean sound and some of that cinematic music Right, ladies and gentlemen, so now the last thing that's left to do is to insert that fade to black animation after 20 seconds or so. So let's just uh, insert a full screen black rectangle that covers the whole slide. So let's just make it blue for now so that we can better see it just like that. Let's just make sure that it covers the whole slide. That's awesome. All right, and let's make sure we have no outline. Let's fill it with black color. All right, and let's go to animations. And let's apply a entrance fade animation. Okay, and let's make sure that this rectangle 12, uh, we can just go to selection pane. Uh, let's give it a name, for example, uh, fade black. To black rectangle and now in the animation pane let's make sure it starts uh, with previous duration is uh, three seconds and let's make sure that it has a delay of 17 seconds so that we can see you know all of that beautiful animation and then everything fades to black so let's check it out on the full screen So ladies and gentlemen, now you know how you can create this awesome cinematic PowerPoint video intro for your presentations. So thank you for watching, stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you on my next video.